good day. I'm Reynaldo Vinya from Zed 4A Science and today I'll be sharing my reaction about the, an article entitled The Current Education Issues in the Philippines and How Child Hope Prices to the Challenges. A classroom setting has two major components, namely physical component and human component. Physical component obviously comprises all the physical objects present inside the classroom. For example, blackboard, furniture, lightings, projector, books, computer, etc. Whereas the human component comprises of individuals such as teachers and students in the classroom. In this article that I have read, is generally all about the quality of education here in the Philippines especially on the classroom settings and the and its component I have read some of its readings that stating that Filipinos from rich household are living in cities and developed towns have more access to private school or better schools in contrast with less favored groups are more bound to deal with lack of classrooms, teachers, and means to sustain top-notching learning. Even before COVID-19 struck and caused problems for millions of Filipinos, Filipino families here in our country, the financial status is one of the top factors that add to the growing education issues here in our country. Furthermore, more children, youth, and adults can get a leg up and are thus left behind due to the unfair access to learning. It also states that there are so many issues in getting equality education, especially now that we are in a new normal after the struck of COVID-19 that needs to be considered such as digital divide, accessible materials for learning, financial crisis, and many more. Therefore, the definition for classroom setting of equality education is not met. I think our government must focus or should focus on these issues being raised in this article. And I hope that everyone could have their education for better future because I do really believe that education is the only thing that cannot be steal by someone from you. My idea of classroom would be a student-friendly room where we could feel safe, comfortable, and could feel the feeling of belongingness, as well as having humble, respectful, and resilient, trustworthy students. And here inside our classroom, we will be molding and building a new future leaders that is competent and could contribute meaningfully in building the nation. Thank you.